So I wanted to make a quick video to share with you a little bit more about metadata and what I'm looking for when you're turning in your photos. So like I said, this first box is how the metadata should look uh, when you plug your phone directly into your computer and download your photos to your computer through you know, whatever manager um, type of app you need for your specific device. So my device, uh, I was shooting with my phone and it's an HTC and so I had to use the um, Android um, manager downloaded to my computer to uh, download my photos to my computer from my phone. So this is what I'm looking for. Uh, this one was uh, shared through my Google account. This I, one I had emailed myself and it came through as an attachment. And then this one I posted to Facebook and then downloaded. So what I'm looking for in your photos is I need to be able to see how big they are. Um, most of your files are going to be around a megabyte or even larger, and that's important. If it's 70 kilobytes, 100 kilobytes, which kilobytes is smaller than a megabyte, then that tells me that something went wrong, that maybe you downloaded the photo from Google, or, or something like that. If you look over here at the Facebook one, this is only 180 kilobytes. So I already know right there that you did not follow the correct instructions. So it should be around a megabyte or larger. Some phones might be a little bit under a megabyte, so 900 and something odd kilobytes. And also, if you're cropping your photo, that will also reduce the size. So don't crop your photos. You will get a chance to crop later in the semester, but for now, don't crop them. I want to see the full size of your files, okay? It'll also tell me um, when it was created, when you took it, and the time, which is important. All of your photos need to be from this semester. You cannot use photos that you took before the semester started from last year, two years ago, whatever. They have to be current. You have to be taking them this semester. Here are the dimensions in pixels, and this will be another indicator to me whether it was something that was downloaded from the internet or whether it's an actual image uh, that you took. If you see here on these ones, it didn't downsize, but Facebook automatically downsize your photos every time you upload it. So it's not necessarily the safest storage uh, for your photos if you want to keep a large photo. Um, we'll get into resolution a little bit more later in the semester, but this becomes really important when you want to start printing your photos out, okay? Uh, it also tells me that the device that it was taken with, the device model, uh, you guys don't have to worry about color space too much, we'll talk about that later, the focal length, which is the length of the lens, the F number, which is the same as your aperture, your exposure program, exposure time, which is the same as your shutter speed. So these are all important things that I need to be able to see. Um, and this is just the basic, basically, uh, you know, this isn't showing me ISO, but your ISO information will be on here too. Um, and I use a whole nother program to actually look at the metadata, um, and it gives me an even deeper view on all this. But if you have the exposure time or shutter speed and the F number or aperture, then it will also include your ISO, so you no know, needs to worry. Um, over here you could see the changes that it was made on the where from. There's no where from on this file. Where from here, Google user content.com, blah, 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 photos.google. So this is an indicator to me that you did not follow instructions. Check out the where from on the attachments. Look at this long, long, long <laughs> uh, web address. So, and right away it says mail dash attach attachment, Google user. Um, so this is another indicator that you did not follow instructions. Um, Facebook, once again, it strips pretty much all of the data from your photo and it tells me where it's from. Down here at the bottom, facebook.com. So, like I said, um, these metadata items are really important for me to grade your photos and to make sure that there isn't any um, photo plagiarism happening. So please make sure that you're checking your photos before you're actually um, uploading them to turn them in. Okay? Thanks, guys.